Hey guys, welcome back. It's Ashton. I wanted to talk to you this week a little bit about this piece I created here for a local art show. There's a cute little shop downtown called El Paso's Finest and they specialize in selling artwork and craft items by um, local artists and craftsmen. So I talked to the owner about two weeks ago and I just showed him my work and straight up asked him how to participate in selling there um, and he told me about the show so I asked if I could jump in on that and I basically had two weeks to work on it. I did a little bit of sketching the first week um, but I didn't actually start on it until um, probably last Saturday. Today is Thursday and tonight I'm going to drop off this piece before I go to work. The actual art show opens tomorrow so it was quite of a rush to get it done. I worked in acrylic. This is a 16 by 20 acrylic painting and it's, it's a, one of the thick gallery wrapped canvas. It's about an inch and a half thick. Um, so it's a sizable piece there. I, I had to squeeze in time to paint it wherever I could. It's been a super busy few weeks and it seems like it's only getting busier. So yesterday I had, was it yesterday? Two days ago I had the day off. I spent literally all day, eight hours plus, actually painting. Um, that's not counting breaks, of course, and then any other time I could squeeze in, I did. So before or after work, um, fortunately I didn't capture any video of the process because I was way too concerned with getting it done to be thinking about setting up a camera and fixing lighting. And where I generally work is the upstairs loft in my house and I share that space with my husband. He has his computer up here and our couch and TV is also in this space. So um, not the best filming conditions most of the time. So I have to kind of pick and choose when I actually do filming there. Um, but about the painting, I'll tell you a little bit about it. it it's meaning and um, I'm not really sure where the idea came from. It kind of just fell together. Uh, I did some sketching. I looked at a lot of her portraits uh, photography portraits and um, her actual paintings to try to get inspired. Um, the piece is called Ofrenda de mi alma, which part of my terrible Spanish translates to offering of my soul. So she is literally putting herself, her soul, her heart out there as an offering. And if you notice, there's some barbed wire around her hand here um, because I feel like it would be a little bit of a reluctant thing to do and also the clutching of her chest kind of um, emphasizes that as well. The eclipse symbolism that we have here that is because the sun is often used as a symbol of wisdom and knowledge and the moon is used as a symbol of um, the subconscious and emotion, um, the emotional state so I thought that would be interesting to have the moon be covering the sun because it does kind of blind you in, in makes you put aside uh, some of the better judgment you might have otherwise. The barren landscape is for two reasons. I live in the desert, so it's a little bit reminiscent of home, and also the emptiness one might feel if they were putting it all out there like that. So that's what this piece is more or less about. It, it is. Um, it was a lot of fun to do, I, even though I did feel a little rushed. I enjoyed pretty much every minute of it. I love painting, it's really my happy spot. And to get to participate in a local show, a different local show I've never done before, is always a good thing. Um, I have another local art show coming up in about two more weeks. So I have a lot of work there too. I've already been planning out some stuff and I did a toning of my canvases already, but I haven't really actually started painting them further than that toning process. Um, I would really like to get back into oil painting soon. Um, I did a few within the last years, but it used to be my main medium. I just don't do it very much because of the length it takes to dry, and a lot of the local shows here are very fast turnaround. So the next one I have is something in conjunction with the Plaza Film Festival, which happens every year, but we don't get to know about any of the details, topics, or what they're looking for for their art show until a lot closer to that. So I literally found out about those details about two weeks ago and um, needed to get the free that piece done first. So 
even if you're busy, you can find a way, you can find the mediums that you're good at, uh, what you are fast and you can still participate. Um, I have fallen prey a lot too. I don't have time for it, but it's not true. We make time for the things that are important to us and this is no different, whether it be family, shows you enjoy, or your personal goals. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and happy painting.